This is part five of my vintage camper renovation and apparently throwing the floors on the ground is not how it's done. But I did get them all installed and then once that was done, I moved on to the side trim. I cut down a ton of pieces of this fluted trim that I applied to all of the bench fronts along with the dinette until I ran out. So I will be picking back up on this, but the real question is, should I stain or paint these? Next, I finally added all of my doors and drawers back into the trailer yet to put the hardware on, but I did get some of the electrical done and started putting up my sconces. Lastly, I added beams and look at that, cabinets, beams, and lighting, oh my. Next, I turned to the bathroom and finally closed up the ceiling where we added this Vento fan and went from this eyesore to this beautiful cedar roof planking. I can't stand waiting to decorate, so I threw up a couple of these pictures and then went back and did some construction. I added more fluted trim to the vanity, rounded out the arch, of course, and look at how good it looks. We added an AC finally, and then I cut out for all my appliances. So keep following along to see epoxy countertops and this stove door become a cabinet and cushion covers.